Hello and welcome back to Massive Challenge of yours truly Lord of the Mad. Now, I think we need to defend that territory over here. But this one would be a lot easier to defend because it only has seeds, ruptures and lapses. What? Hunter's plus dexterity. Ah. Okay, I'll go with the one that I think I can actually win. And I'll just abandon this one territory because we're gonna lose something anyway. Might as well just sacrifice that one. Alright, we should have five people now. We have more than five people. Um, Frey, you're slow. Graves, you're quick enough. Come along. I think we have any equipment to offer you that is... Not in any way, shape or form, what you already have seen. An alchemist? Sure. We have a lot of alchemists there. Don't we? We will have this hunter that I can safely take with me. I guess we could take another cable, maybe? Yeah, okay, let's bring another cable as well, though... We're fighting lapses, ruptures, and seeds. Well, for the seeds, the Gabriels will be plenty useful. And then another alchemist, I think. Jeff Goldenstein, sure. Let us head on in to another battle. Hero messed up the landing there. Not a good sign. Quiet. We messed up the landing? Is that what happened? Because I don't know, I think this looks a bit like an advantage to me. Check that out. Confirm. Well, not ideal. You can finish it up. That does put me at two less flasks there. Could have offered something to the others as well. Let's see. Where can we go? This is a very creepy looking area. Let's go over there. We can shatter these rocks apparently. I don't understand the purpose of it. Let's give it a try. Okay, still didn't get engaged. Why do you need to shatter rocks? Let's just move on. What was that message you got there? Impressionable. Personality strongly influenced by other heroes in combat. Ah. That's interesting. Alright. There is nowhere we can stealthily run but there. We'll fall some ruptures. And some seeds. If I get the alchemists close enough, I could probably take out those uh, ruptures from range. But first, let's walk this guy over here. Oh, and the laps. In that case, can we take cover anywhere? Looks like it. And another rupture. Uh, I don't think these ruptures are up to any good there. Let's not get the other guy even just that close. I don't think this is a area that the ruptures can reach. So let's line up our alchemists here for the inevitable, which is the enemy approaching us from that direction between those rocks, I think. Oh, we just crashed the rock instead. And there comes one. There approaches a seed. Alright, let's see what the best way to handle this is. I think if this guy could get a proper hit on the bastard, that would work very well. If I knock back him, that'll stun him. That's just a glancing blow, so I don't think that it will actually count as a knockback. 
Another lapse. Is it that just what we wanted? It is not. Okay, take the shot. Gaber, can you kill? No, you cannot. Alright, alchemist. Can you throw the flask over there? No. You can finish up this guy though, so let's do that. I should have aimed for the right tile. That would probably have secured that I would actually have hit the bastard. This guy? Go to that one. N also miss. Well, on the plus side, that guy should still be stunned. Alright, let's walk. Let's advance a little. Then end the turn. Okay, those options have apparently not actually noticed me. And there we go. I don't even stun! Apparently that was not the case. Alright, what can we do now? Alright, oh, the lapses are the ones that steal XP. Annoying buggers. Lots of corrosion damage going on. You need to step out of there and heal yourself. Yeah. As to you, or else you'll probably end up dead. No sense in having that be your fate. No, you can't just. Okay, if I do it like this, this way. Alright, and this guy also needs to walk out of the corrosion. But does he need to heal at the moment? Hmm. I can see if you can take this guy out. Classic pro, seriously? Not at all ideal. Okay, you take that shot. Which actually hit, but uh, it wasn't worthy. It wasn't enough for a kill. Oh, and the lapse is fighting a rock. Apparently the rocks actually do have a certain damage limit. Oh, and our Gabriel is dead because that guy will also attack him and there's no way that it's gonna be a classic blow. Shit. And the archer has a maximum health of 8, which is pretty shit. That's for fair. Can you take the lapse? You can start taking the lapse anyway. Okay. Let's see if we can sneak around. Actually, do we need to sneak around? No, no, no. They'll, they'll come around to us. I don't think we can actually hit the flask to where it needs to be right now, but... Oh, well, this might work. That was a kill. Not the kill we needed, but this was the start. I don't think the ruptures are able to reach us this turn. And that's a little bit of cover gone. This guy is going for the archer, and... The archer hasn't healed yet, right? So it might still be good. The archer will have to heal now. Okay, alchemist, step back. Archer. Step further back. And heal. Alchemist, can you give him a bit of punching? Glancing pro. Shit. Keeper can... I don't want to make him step in the acid there. The corrosion. This will work. Wait, no it won't. I get way too excited about this. Because corrosion damage. Next. Which I'm not a fan of. Uh, well, let's hope for this. 
It worked, but we may get corrosion damage still. Rupture comes in. And does not explode just yet, so we may still have a chance. Yeah, there we go, corrosion damage. Might have to look into better armor for our good fellows. Can you hit that? No, you cannot at all. Okay, Archer, you give it a try. Nice hit. You. And another beautiful hit. Uh, next turn, we should be able to take out the last rupture on this shore. But I have no idea what's going on on the other shore. Like, there's lapses destroying rocks that are completely irrelevant to anything. It's all very odd. Uh, okay, there's a rupture that just disappeared. Mm. Right, you step back over here so the rupture is sure not to be able to reach us next turn. And then we just hold out. And continue hoping that the lapses are distracted by the various rocks around the map. Which does appear to be the case. Alright, see if you can see the rupture. Nope. You can step move over there. And then the rest of the party remains on hold in case the rupture does approach us. The rupture approacheth! <laughs> that is silly. Okay, shoot him. Missed. But that should probably aggro him enough to make him actually come to us. Could you hit him? 52% chance. And it's 79 damage, so... Let's give him one more turn to approach us. Nope. Still going off in a random direction. Can you see him from here? No. In that case, scout ahead a little. Or we could just continue on. You know where this rupture is. Getting over to that lapse will be more of a challenge. And apparently running across corrosion is fine as long as you don't stand on it. In the end of the turn. Okay, fine. Let's hope this lapse doesn't... Yeah, okay, never mind. That's one alchemist turn. Still a battle yet to be won. There is. See if you can get in on him. No, you cannot. That is actually really lame. Could you hit that? Yeah, but it's not a guaranteed kill. Let me go cause some sort of issues there for the bugger. Well, he has the most damage resistance, I think. So let's put him on the front. But that's not at all ideal. You can have some XP back. Similar glancing blow was enough to cause a kill there. Okay, can you... Reach anything here? No. Okay. Do I see anything from here? Still no. Okay. And let's bring the... Oh, right, this is the 4 plus 1 speed alchemist. Let's bring him in, in as well. Oh, and there's the lapse. Almost a kill. This is generally not looking very good. Can you move close enough to get a shot on this guy? You can. Uh, can you move close enough to hit the guy? You can. His death actually moved the rock. Fascinating. I have no idea how large this southern area is. But he is hoping there isn't enough space for more ruptures. 
Though as we know, we still have a rupture left upstairs. No, no, don't move. You just take this shot for a moment. That didn't work. Alright, let's give it to the good friend of ours who is the Gaber then. Just like the Battle of Saturn's Peak. That sounded almost victorious for a moment. Okay, take cover over there. A rupture. That did not count as cover. A fall back. So let's hope the lapse doesn't actually get a kill here. It did not. Okay, well... Here's the thing. We don't really have a good amount of chances here. Uh, let's make the alchemist run away. Step one. We also don't want the Gaber to get killed by the rupture. So could I? If it's... Hmm. Hmm. No. Why did it look like that one instead? Oops. That was not actually my plan, but... Uh, well, that's one enemy stunned. Though it's not the enemy that's actually dangerous. Did I just hit and turn instead of doing what I wanted to do? Yes, I did. Don't die, Gaber. That's a dead Gaber. Which means that the only survival from this match will be the Archer, assuming he'll survive. Which is not a guaranteed result. Might as well bring the Alchemist closer as well then. No one left to hide. Okay, take cover over there. And yeah, this is looking like he's surviving either. And apparently he is recommending the people eat cake. Yay. Cake's delicious. As long as you're not talking about cow cake. Is that even a term in English? Because it means cow shit in Estonian. That's interesting. Oh! Well, look at, looky there! Someone got up to us. But that's not an area we can die in. Oh, and now he has an asthma attack? Seriously? Okay, we can stealth. We can stealth somewhere. Where can we stealth? We can stealth onto there. And then we can wait for the rupture to catch up on us. Or to us. Let's hope there aren't any more enemies on this island. Because it currently looks really empty. And then in comes the rupture. Alright. Can we move over there? It did take the shot. We can. It did not hit. Alright, you continue moving on. Yeah, it looks like uh, that rupture is the last guy, so... There is a chance... No, 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 no. That's a dead archer. Oh, Jeff Goldenstein leveled up there. This battle. I imagine you won't be the only one. Lots of dead people here. Golden Stan survived it. You did the best you could. We will mourn the lost in time. Come on, let's get back to work. Yeah, that's one territory lost now. Yeah. I was actually planning on building a crucible, but I accidentally <laughs> with the keep. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's just continue on then. Let the time fly. How many heroes do we have anyway? Four. Goldenstein is level two though, so... That may be of use. Uh, plus there's also the possibility that one of the houses may... have one of the trainees uh, age... Well, Crystal is nine already, so... 
If you're lucky, there won't be an attack in the next six years. And Tara is at age 11, so yeah. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get lucky enough. You can't make this stuff up. A lost piece of the chalice has been discovered, and Catherine Frey recently learned that it's in the possession of a distant aunt in the Urgus. But she refuses to part of it because it's the only thing she has left to remember her family by. However, she respects you a great deal, so when Anne Catherine asked her to come to the capital today with the beast, she did so. Uh, what do you do? Uh, talk her into giving it to you, have Anne and Catherine take it away, saying the nation is more important than the whims of one person. Wait her out, we'll get the piece when she passes away. She's had the piece for years, she must be attuned to the chalice then, recruit her. Her eyes widen, I've been waiting for this day ever since I've heard... I first heard about the war from Anne Catherine. I always knew there was something different about her family. Of course I will join you. Yay, we have Natalie now. Who's a hunter? At age 83. <laughs> but we have five people. We have five people, so... Assuming she doesn't die of old age by the time we actually get to a battle... We may be able to actually get something done. And uh, that is, of course, assuming she does not die of old age before that. Oh, also... Did you just have a puppy? <gasps> they had a puppy. Sambikara. Nearsighted and nimble. Well, uh, we need someone to make him some glasses, I think. Also, there was a Muriel born to Aqua and Matthew. And now another child was born. Sarah Baskillon is no longer affected, the cure was finally created, the success of Witchy Doctor is attributed to a steady supply of apples and string cut deaths. Okay. So, this we got rid of the quarantine. Oh, is that... Uh, that's probably the magic up to an appropriate point for battle. Alright, so we have two options. Ooh. Well, our current research time is only four years left, so this one might be more useful. But it's ruptures and polywarks, but this is lapses and polywarks. Really, neither option sounds very appealing to me. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And let's hope we also don't die then. Completely. We had one survivor this time. It's an achievement! I'll see you next time.